Okay, so we have 4x squared minus 8. So we're factoring binomials right now. So we look at this binomial, and remember you should always see if there's a greatest common factor. So here the common factor is a 4, so I'm going to factor out 4. So I get x squared minus 2. So when I do that and I look at my problem, this cannot factor anymore because x squared minus 2 is not the difference of two squares because there are no, two does not have the same two factors. One times two are the only things that multiply to give you two. You can't do one times one and you can't do two times two. So this is finished because you can't factor x squared minus two any further. So it's factored because if you pull out a GCF, you still factored it. Then we have 64x squared minus 25. So there is no GCF here. So we look, we have 64x squared, 64 is a perfect square, 8 times 8, 25 is a perfect square, 5 times 5. We know x squared is a perfect square because it's just an x times an x. So we're going to do two sets of parentheses, 8x, 8x, 5, 5. One's a plus, one's a minus. And that's it. Next, we have 2a squared minus 18. So we look, there's a GCF here. So I'm going to factor out a 2. a squared minus 9. When you look at what's in the parentheses, just like with trinomials, you have to identify whether or not this is the difference of two perfect squares. Can I factor this further is what you're doing. It's not a trinomial, it's a binomial, so you just have to ask yourself if it's the difference of two squares. A squared is A times A, 9 would be 3 times 3, and it is a difference, so there is subtraction. So this can factor further. A minus 3, A plus 3, and this problem is factored. And that's it. Alright, I remember math is fun. So practice and you'll be fine.